Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. It's great to have you guys here. Hope you guys have been having a wonderful day. Got a lot of uploads this week, huh? Uh, content's nice. It's nice to have so much content, so many different things to talk about. And yes, so we're going to be talking about the next big banner that's coming. Uh, remember, this is not in the actual announcement. Right now, you know, the, the end of the month will be Easter Mao. So um, this banner, Pure Sicily, could come after that or come at some point in July. It's my guess. Uh, but regardless of the fact this banner will most likely be here in july so i want to go ahead and talk about like, the next big unit that's going to be coming at some point in the future which is going to be uh pierce Cecilia and dark artina obviously you guys know how much i like dark artina i mean her design is really cool pierce Cecilia is cool too i actually haven't looked much at her but i am aware of how good she is so uh and just kind of look at the schedule because you could kind of tell the schedule here by the layout but pretty much i think they swapped the easter mal uh obviously to follow you know um, to come at the end of the month and then I think Pierce Silly could be right after that or they could go into the plat banner with red mag uh, Magnus so that's also um, a thing they can do as well but I mean they've already swapped the banners around so we, we'll see what happens so uh, but Pierce Silly could be coming after Easter Mount or coming like in the next couple weeks in July so um, Pierce Silly is like the next big top tier unit uh, that you guys kind of want to look at um, is how she works so party int and defense uh 13 percent so uh she's gonna be very good for int teams already i uh, got another hands with plus one makes the normal attack of the party's wand uh monster magical weapon equipped character it's independent that's sick that is sick right so that's already very interesting over here you have at the beginning of the turn sp plus seven for characters equipped with wands and magic weapons so again now you're gonna have another good monster um not monster but like a magic monster team and a staff team so you kind of do do a bit of both right which is really good um and then over here another answer plus seven plus 13 percent damage dealt by party wand monster magic weapon uh equipped character with special move so if you're looking for like a good wand uh unit like good wand support or just another monster magic weapon um unit to have on your team she's really good for that and she's going to be a very nice unit to have and check out what she does on her skills so uh she does give plus five int on her single target uh which is sick um right here it's um defense of 15 percent to 30 percent recovery from abnormal cond um, conditions which is party so that's really good uh over here you got the speed plus five percent which is an aoe and over here uh, she gets plus 30 percent at her nether has plus three so she's a really good unit for that and then here's her um you know she's a healer so that's gonna be nice to have so you're gonna have another pretty good healer um yeah she and then her magic up as well so she, she's gonna be really good um she's like a good support she's gonna be very good for a wand team you could definitely use her there you could use her on a, a magic monster team as well so there's a lot of different team builds you could do this is going to be like that missing connection for a lot of teams so she's going to be very good for that right then you got dark artina uh dark artina is going to be another uh wand user uh, basically int 16 percent of party wand monster magic that's already sick you know you get if you get both these gals i mean dude you're gonna rock a pretty good uh wand team then at the end of the turn int plus 40 percent of the ally character with the first gauge plus one that's sick so that support you know the support's looking good already boys the support's looking good at, um you got another answer plus five plus 15 percent damage dealt by party wand monster magic weapon uh equipped characters in all attacks so that's good that's really good as well oh my gosh and you got another answer plus seven at the beginning of the battle party int plus 16 percent so both these gals if you're like these units are gonna be really good for your wand teams right uh, if you're wand teams, you're going to be able to help monster magic. Like, you're going to finally be able to make more monster magic teams. So, th these gals are going to be very good to have, right? Uh, if you're looking for those teams. If you're not, I mean, you don't need them. But, again, Pure Cecilia is going to be all around. I mean, good healer, good buffer for the team. So, even regardless, like, let's say you're, like, you're not rocking a, a, a full uh, team of monster allies. I mean, you could still take advantage of, like, her actual character skills, right? So, that's just one thing to note. Uh, Dark Artina is going to be obviously a lot more exclusive to those teams because, again, pretty much it's all about int and um, ma magic weapon uh, users and also the wand users. So she's going to be really good. And then her character skill, she has a cheap AoE, which is nice. She has a single target where she lowers attack. She has an AoE that also lowers attack. And then her another has a plus three is resistance. Um, 
minus 12 percent so she's also debuffing too so very good very good on those and then you have a bunch of a magic spell so it's gonna be cool resist break mega cool mega resist break giga cool and omega cool so you have a lot of different options here so that's nice um just you know some more extra padding for her and i think she's really good i mean their stats both their stats are pretty high for the most part i mean you know pure cecilia's int is really good and darker tears it's also pretty high so you know and you know they look good so i would probably say yeah uh generally this will probably be the next big hype banner that's gonna come out um do we know when again i would probably presume at some point in the next couple weeks like after easter mal again what they could do is like they could do easter mal and then they could do a plat banner or a fest banner and then they could do um dark artina and sicily so i just want to go ahead and kind of get like put put these units in front of your faces just in case if you guys are wondering what the next big uh top tier unit is going to be coming pure sicily is very good a lot of people consider her a very high tier unit uh for good reason i mean she's sick uh she's gonna be very strong and yeah i mean if you're looking for anybody for these teams dude it's going to be worth summoning for her so uh but anyways you know as always it's great to have you guys here um you guys could summon on any bears that you want remember this is just a video talking about units that are considered really good so even if you even though these units are really good they might not be the units that you guys want on your teams personally again that's very important to know right um they might not be those units that you guys desperately want um summon for so that's just it right you know but if you are looking for more if you're looking for a way to mat to uh run you know monster gals uh this is you're gonna be your way um this is or like a, a more wand units and you know, like trying to do like a full staff team you know this is definitely going to be that big time chance of uh getting some units that are going to be powering that up and unfortunately they are seasonal um i think yeah they're not going to be around they're not going to come out very often they do come back i think um in the future but as of right now like they're not going to be as common as like other units right so just kind of keep that in mind um about them so that's pretty much it for me boys so if you guys enjoyed like and subscribe for more disguise rpg content news and updates it's great to have you guys here as always thank you guys so much for the support um and yeah i do like both these units i mean obviously again dark artina dude that's sick she uh she's very cool looking dude i don't know dark artina's design is just really nice so i like i like the design a lot i think dark artina is going to be really cool to grab i feel like she's going to be a fan favorite so see you guys later take care bye